the liver acts as distribution center of the body it exports nutrients in the correct proportion to the organs like skeletal muscles heart kidney brain etc fe ions vitamin a are stored in the liver the liver detoxifies foreign organic compounds like drugs food additives and preservatives the detoxification often involves cytochrome p450 dependent hydroxylation of relatively insoluble organic compounds the liver contains hepatocytes the hepatocyte performs many metabolic functions the fatty acids entering hepatocyte have several different fates some fatty acids are converted to liver lipids under most circumstances free fatty acids undergo beta oxidation to produce acetyl coenzyme a and nadh the acetyl coenzyme a is further oxidized via the citric acid cycle the electron released from the citric acid cycle go through an electron transport chain and finally are accepted by oxygen molecule to produce water this electron transport chain is coupled to another reaction in which adp and pi combine to form atp so the whole process starting from transfer of electrons from the substrates of citric acid cycle and ending with atp formation is called as oxidative phosphorylation the excess acetyl coenzyme a not required by the liver is converted to acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate these two molecules are considered as ketone bodies and they circulate in the blood these ketone bodies can supply a fraction of energy up to 1/3 in the heart and as much as 60% to 70% in the brain during prolonged fasting some of the acetyl coenzyme a is used for the biosynthesis of cholesterol the cholesterol is required for the membrane synthesis cholesterol also forms steroid hormones and bile salts these bile salts are essential for the digestion and absorption of lipids fatty acids are converted to phospholipids and triacylglycerols or tags of plasma lipoproteins some fatty acids are transported to the blood these fatty acids are considered as the free fatty acids these free fatty acids in the blood are bound to serum albumin and carried to the heart and skeletal muscle in the heart and skeletal muscle free fatty acids are oxidized to produce energy one albumin can carry up to 10 molecules of free fatty acids albumin is the most abundant plasma protein please like subscribe and share